Hi guys, this is Paul again. I've got another new video to show you, and I'm calling this Quad Step 288 Dual Helix. In the last couple of years, I've put a lot of work into doing research with a system I call Quad Step 288. It's a four ball system, group system. Now in front, I'm showing you a five ball string. This is the quad step string. I'm also showing you a white slope and rise triangle. Now I need to raise these balls to the slope in a vertical axis. I can't use an angle, I have to use a vertical axis. Okay, you're probably wondering how I achieved this. I'm using 3DS Max. 3DS Max has a feature called position constraints. I put a position constraint on the purple ball to both red balls and the yellow to the red and purple and the cyan to the purple and red. The beauty about this tool is that you can keep using it for any slope angle and you can make it very accurate with 3ds max there's another thing i'd like to add about this is that this slope group i show i use a null helper zero zero null helper in front and by copying the group i can add another group like i show in front it can go up to six or ten if you want I'm going to show you a little chart that I made showing the slope going up one ball diameter at the time. And you can see that the slope changes for the amount of groups that you use. I think you can double up on this chart if you want to go higher. Okay, I've used the five group string, the 20 ball string, and I've added four sections. So this is an animation of what I get. And as you can see, it's making a nice cylinder out of the slope in 20 balls. And I'm showing four sections linked together. There's something I'd like to add. Now, if you look at this cylinder, I've added a white curve. And it's going in two directions. Now, one direction goes red, yellow, purple, cyan and the other direction goes the opposite sequence. I think this just spins around the cylinder, just like a plant with different branches coming off as it's going around. I think this looks like quad step is the answer for the geometry of nature. I don't think it's chaos as the big shots say. Okay, the next step is to work on this slope for the dual helix for DNA or B-type DNA. So let's make a start. Okay, in front I'm showing you the slope and rise for the helix of B-type DNA. The horizontal string is a 20 ball quad step string. This is basically five groups of five balls that makes up the string. Now this quad step five group string will wrap around a pentagon. I showed this in my earlier videos. Now I made the ball diameter 3.4. But to get the bottom ring around the pentagon at 20 or 200, I needed to scale down the string a little bit. So that made the string exactly 60 because quad step 288 does not use pi. So this is when I've made the slope triangle. So by using the slope and run triangle, I was able to make the five ball slope using the constraint tool, as I showed earlier. Now you only have to make the first five ball slope with the constraints tool and then remove the constraints, and then you can make a hierarchical string. Now I made this slope string 
ball diameter exactly 3.4 so look at the results so as you can see in front the string of balls are making a beautiful helix okay i'm showing this in the front view so i'm going to show the top view as well so that you can see the circle now you can see the red balls are lining up with a pentagon spot on this only works with quad step 288 I showed how quad step will make a 4 gone, 5 gone, 6 gone, 7 gone in my earlier video. Okay, now we're going to go back to the slope front view again. And I'm going to add some more pentagons in between. Now this is a stack of 5 white pentagons and they're 180 degrees about from the green pentagons. Now look at the results. We have produced 10 gaps and look at the, the five yellow balls and five cyan balls. They fit perfectly in the gaps. So the gaps are 3.4 distance. Okay, I'm going to show this in the top view for you can see what's happening. And you can see that the red balls are lining up with the green pentagon and the purple balls are lining up with the white pentagon okay now i'm gonna show you how to make a dual helix in front i'm showing what i call version one dual helix where there are sloping rungs 10 sloping rungs okay i'm not showing the rungs yet but i show you this in the top view and you can see what's happening and it looks like she's lining up very nice to the both polygons now in my earlier videos i done some research showing the natural slope of the icosa. There was three different slopes that you could achieve. So this anim in front of you shows the rungs, the ten rungs made up of icosas, showing the slope of the icosas. Now notice that these slopes of icosas line up with the red and purple balls. And this shows 10 sloping rungs. Okay, now I'll show you this in the top view. You can see what's happening. And now you can see that she's going together and she seems to be okay with the sloping rungs. Okay, I've put another anim together just showing the line geometry of the sloping rungs. And it's easier to understand. And as you can see in front, it seems to make a lot of sense. It looks okay. But this is what I thought until I can show you the other second version. Now look at this in front. The two strings are on the same level. Now you can see that the rungs are being produced horizontal in this version too. And you can see it's coming from the cyan ball and the yellow ball. Now you can see that this will only come from quad step 288 system. And I showed in my earlier videos that pentagons and hexagons can be made on the same plane. So you can see that this setup shows a perfect three dimensional order and it's not chaos. Okay, now I'm gonna show you this in the top view. So you can see in the top view, it looks pretty simple and clean using quad step 288. Anyways, you got something to think about. I think I've showed enough order for today. So this is Paul saying thank you very much for watching my video.